There are things in life that you can't control. But you can sure as hell add some control moves to your program. So we're back. Um, I'm actually going to put the control lower and control upper in one video. Just to kind of put it all together. Um, I'm going to introduce my friend Lance here. He's actually checking out my heels, if you are wondering why. Um, because he noticed that I was kind of going off my heels while I was doing these reps. And you can see a little bit of it right there. It was more prominent in my first set. Um, it might have been because I was going too fast. I don't know. Uh, could be a number of factor of things. One could be high bar as well. I'm slowly trying to transition into a low bar stance, but I'm not used to it yet. Um, one is flexibility. Two is because it feels weird on my back. There's a lot more strain on my back, obviously, because you're putting all the weight on your back now versus your shoulders um, or higher up on your back. So with the heel problem, um, it, can, it shows that I'm putting more of my weight towards the front of my feet. So I'm putting more weight on my toes and on my, uh, the balls of my feet rather than the heels. And I do notice this when I do my regular, you know, heavy sets or if I just do my control sets, um, which also factors into my good morning that, that happens as a result of this as well. Something I'm slowly working on. Now keep in mind, I'm not perfect with any of these lifts. Um, I'm no experience, I'm not as experienced as, you know, someone who, like Johnny Candido. Um, but as you go on in, in fitness, as you go on in powerlifting and bodybuilding, you still continue to learn things that you didn't know before. So I'm still trying to perfect my squat stance, I'm still trying to perfect my bench, my deadlifts, everything. I decided to do the last one without a, a belt, um, just to kind of strengthen my core a little bit. Especially, it's only 265. Uh, I really should try doing these control days without a belt. So I can continue strengthening my core and helps my lower back and my breathing as well. So on to the next one. Um, did 295 uh, on deadlifts this week. Feel, felt really good. As you can see right here, this is just my first set that I'm going to start. Boom, boom. Felt really easy. I'm actually really excited to move up to 315. Um, this felt like nothing to me. All right. So again, do three to three sets of four for this. And you notice now we're using the those bumper plates instead of the hex plates. Uh, like I said <laughs> on my heavy lower day, those hex plates were hell, the worst place to deadlift in. Uh, but thank God they had these bumper plates, and we just kind of put them on. Uh, so the hex plates weren't even like touching the floor. I felt like my form was really good uh, this week for my deadlifts. I feel like I should. All depends on the person. Uh, when you're doing sumo, you don't have to go that wide. You don't have to go as wide as other powerlifters do. Um, I feel perfect at this position. I know people like Alexander Kang go super wide, um, but. All depends on your leverages, all depends on what you feel more comfortable with. Now, next thing we're going to move on to, um, I just put in the, the control upper day in here as well in the same video. Doing 215 spodal press. Now, just really quickly, um, for some reason, my control days feel easier than my heavy days even though they're supposed to feel harder since you're doing pause reps everywhere. But this felt super easy. Now remember guys, again, spodal press. You wanna pause an inch or two above your chest. Um, it really helps with your lockout. It really helps with getting yourself out of the hole um, when you're benching. So it felt pretty easy. And when you guys do these these photo presses, try to really pause. Uh, don't just do 
like a regular rep. Don't do like half a second pause. Really try to tighten everything. Do like one Mississippi, two Mississippi, um, and then finish the rep. You can also try to do a speed rep with these paws as well. Um, so if, after you're done with that pause, do a speed rep to finish it off. Be explosive with these reps as well. It's really going to help. I've already seen changes in my, um, my own lifts, especially with squats too, especially with deadlifts. It really helps with the lockout. Now, if you guys ever have any questions, again, feel free to comment below. Um, I am going to kind of put up some videos later on that's not following my program. Um, now, keep in mind, I'm actually going to skip a couple of weeks uh, with the recordings and uploading. Um, because Just because I want to catch up to where I am right now. I'm a little behind with the uploading of the videos. Um, but you'll be able to follow and see where I'm at. Right, then we move on to rows. I was same thing with the pause rows too. When you're doing the rows, you want to be able to really pause at the top. Um, doesn't matter what kind of rows you do, but make sure that you're really pausing. You want that tightness in your lats. You want the tightness in your back. And again, these are remember these are optional. You can choose another. Feel free to choose another um, back workout if you want. You don't need to do pause rows. You can do pause dumbbell rows. You can do pause lap pull downs if you wanted to. Um, it doesn't have to be specific workout that I'm doing. I just choose to do these because these are the ones that I enjoy doing and the ones that I feel are actually helping me. And feel free to critique my form. Guys, if, you, if anyone here has more experience than me, uh, feel free to let me know what I can do better or what I can fix in regards to my form, my, my workout, my progress as well. All right, just do the, do the front view so you guys can see more clearly where I'm pausing as well. Now, overhead press, I, it, I felt kind of weak. Um, you're supposed to do one by 10, actually, but I only did six for 130 my overhead press has really been um, difficult lately I'm not sure why it might be because everything else is so taxing um, but I like ending my control days or my heavy control days I'm sorry my upper control days with a closed grip bench I think closed grip bench really does help as well um, with the tricep movements it'll help your bench all around Other than that guys, like, subscribe, um, share my videos. If anyone else is interested in, in taking on a powerlifting program, I definitely recommend the linear program. Um, I am going to transition into Candido six week eventually, but for now I'm gonna keep sticking with the linear um, until I'm ready and finish with my cut to transition. All right, again, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Mm-hmm.